Good morning. Today is April the 1st, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today in history, April 1st, 19, excuse me, 1789, um, the U.S. House of Representatives, U.S. House of Representatives elected its first Speaker of the House, and it was Frederick Augustus Conrad Muhlenberg, who happened to be Lutheran. We have not had anybody in that position since, and Muhlenberg served as Speaker for the first and third Congresses. Now, it's not like it is now where technically the Speaker of the House is uh, third in terms of the chain of command after president and vice president. They didn't have that down on paper, but we could say that he was the um, third highest ranking person in government at the time. And, you know, it's, it's kind of odd. We don't have folks like that. Part of it is we don't have as many Lutherans um, in high positions of government. I think partly because we try our best um, not to be political. And you know what? That's not right. If you read through scripture and you read very carefully, Jesus was very political. The difference is, though, Jesus wasn't partisan. So there will be times from the pulpit where I will talk about issues that for some, you may think, what? That's political. But I try to cross, be careful on that line and balance very, you know, very nicely. There are issues of justice and fairness and things where we need to care for all people, uh, matters of peace, matters of things like taking care of the hungry, the homeless, the sick, that are all things that Jesus talked about. But Jesus didn't take sides. Jesus looked at what God was saying about what we should do as Christians, and sometimes we need to share that with one another and, and look at what that means in terms of the big picture in life. It's not about... Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, or anything else, there are some things that are a matter of things that are just and right and fair. And so sometimes we have to talk about that um, because Jesus asks us to, to take care of one another. So we are thankful for uh, Muhlenberg and his witness. Uh, we're thankful for all elected officials, and today we'll take some time to pray for them and all other, um, all kinds of other matters. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, you love us more than we can even understand, and you bless us with incredible gifts to share with others. We continue to thank you for leaders uh, like Muhlenberg and, and others who across our history have tried to do what they can to be fair and just to all your people. We continue to pray for all those in authority, um, our president and vice president, uh, our Congress, uh, our governor, our legislators, all elected folks. We, we pray that you would give them wisdom, you would give them a kind and true heart, and help them think about the needs of all people in the world, not just um, one particular interest, whatever, so that all people can have, the liber have liberty and freedom and the ability to uh, do wonderful things in your name. We continue to pray for so many things going on around us and in the world. We pray for those who are uh, continue to be affected by uh, the fires in Wares Valley. We pray for those who are in harm's way as they uh, do what they can to contain the fire. We pray for those who have lost homes. Um, uh, so many memories and uh, we'll have to rebuild. Help us to see how we can be there for them. We pray, continue to pray for those who are affected by COVID. Things are better, but it's still there. And we pray that you help us to do what we can uh, to keep the disease from spreading and to take care of one another. And we still pray for peace. We always pray for peace, but especially in Ukraine. Uh, we pray for the people of Ukraine, for the people of Russia. We pray uh, that wise minds would prevail and there would be an end to fighting and bloodshed. Show us how we um, can do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you as you call us to, in the words of the prophet Michael. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.